What's going on, world? It's your boy Steve Dab317 back with another reaction video. And as promised in one of my recent videos, actually it was the video with uh with Fabio Rodriguez and Ali Sherlock. I had mentioned that I was going to subscribe to his channel. And then furthermore, I want to do some reaction videos to some of the other songs, uh, more specifically the covers that he has on his channel. So as promised, here I am. I've chosen I'll Be There by the Jackson 5. Uh, based on his voice, I think this should be a hit. Uh, so I'm excited for it. So make sure my audio's good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it. So see, right now, it seems like, I don't know, maybe this is his first song on this specific day, but it just seems like, you know, he, uh, I think somebody maybe dropped a tip for him or something like that, maybe in his guitar case, but he just kind of warmed up and seemed like he was more, more so himself at that one. See, so see if you can pick up on what I'm saying. Build my world of trees around you. I'm so glad that I found you. you. See, like right here, like he's digging I'll down. I don't know how long I may have to go back and look, but the lady standing in the background, like she's been, she's been frozen right there listening for a while now. So glad that I found you. I'll be there with the love that's strong. I'll be your strength. I'll keep.
Just look over your shoulder, honey. Have you ever, like, just just stop for a moment and just consider of like how it would feel to, you know, just just set up and do something like this. Like, you go out there, you get you set up your 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 mic and your amplifier, or whatever. You get your guitar out, and then like you just you just up and start singing. You know, like I think it's a lot. Eth perfect example. You notice when most keynote speakers come out, before they come out, they usually have somebody speaking before them. They usually have somebody, even with comedy sketches, they usually have somebody come out there and get the crowd warmed up before they get out there and they get to hear people clapping and everybody's kind of into it. But like, he's basically like, once he sets up and starts, like he's going in cold, but you know what I mean? You gotta, you just gotta do it, you know? And I, and I it takes an amazing amount of confidence and an amazing amount of courage to do that. I feel that I am a uh, pretty confident in myself person, but even like, I don't know if I could sing, maybe I would feel di different about it. I enjoy talking, but like, I just know it, it takes a lot. You know, this is like, it takes a lot to go out there and stand in front of strangers. And uh, this was, I think this was recorded about a year ago. So I look forward to checking out more of his videos and just kind of seeing how he's progressed and how he does things different over the, over the course of several months as well. But anyways, yeah, that's just something that came to mind. I don't know if I'm the only one who thought about that or if you ever taken the time to stop and think like, man, that, that takes a lot to be able to do what he's doing right now. So shout out to him for doing that. Just call my name and I'll be there. Listen, I wonder in in this video at least I've never I never saw him like open his mouth extremely wide and uh you know he still had a big voice so I'm wondering like and here's the thing maybe maybe opening your mouth wide isn't required to have a big voice I don't I mean I don't know that's why I'm here that's why I ask questions sometimes that I don't know the answer because oftentimes there is somebody who watches a video and they know more about it than I do and then they share some information that I learned going forward but I just wonder, like, if he just went all out, like, I wonder just how massive, how powerful, how big his voice truly is. Hopefully, as I uh, react to some of his other songs, I'll kind of get a better grasp of that. And, uh, but no, I mean, I, you know, I, I enjoy doing reaction videos to songs that I already know, because it makes it a little easier for me to, to focus on, you know, one of the variations, how, you know, artists add their own style when they're doing covers uh as i expressed before to a to an extent i think that's really cool um but also i get to just like focus on listening to their voice so i'm glad i checked this out i'm glad i got exposed to uh fabio rodriguez Rod rodriguez and you know if you're not already aware of him or his channel there will be a link down in the description uh you can hit that link it goes directly over his channel you can watch this video without my commentary if you choose to or you can hit the subscribe button on this channel, hit the bell notification and go through and watch. He's he's got a lot of he's got like hundreds of videos up on his channel. So a lot over there. Uh, if you're not already familiar, definitely go check it out. But aside from that, hey, I appreciate you for being here. Appreciate you for watching this video. Um Steve Dab317. Sorry, I have notification over here. Steve Dab317. And for now, I'm signing. I'm signing out. And I tell you, the notification was let me know that it's almost time for this big fight. Frank Martin. Uh, Michelle Rivera. I think I think Michelle is like twenty six and up, twenty four and up, twenty six and up, something like that. And then Frank Martin, up and coming from from Detroit, uh, from Detroit, Michigan. But then he fought here out of Indianapolis for a while. And now I think he's training down in Dallas. But uh, I, I'm I'm just, he's a southpaw. Like I, I I watched him a few times in person, and like I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this one. So stay tuned. I'm going to get out of here for now. Y'all stay good.
positive vibes only, and I'm signing out. Peace.